Hey guys, so today I'm finally getting around to filming the rest of my haul videos from when I went to Japan. This one's going to be a kind of branded fashion haul as such. I've got Listen Flavor, 6% Doki Doki, No Perch and Spank stuff to show you guys. Let's start. The first item is from Listen Flavor and I'm in love with this top. I really wanted it uh, as soon as I saw it basically and I waited till I knew I was going to go to the Listen Flavor store and thankfully they had one of these and I snapped it up because it's goddamn beautiful. It's a collaboration with Fancy Surprise. Her stuff is so adorable. I wish I had more stuff but it is not so easy to get hold of as others so thankfully yes thank you listen flavor next ah, surprisingly this is the only clothing i got from their new sanrio range like the first day i arrived in harajuku you can see that vlog if you want um they had this stuff it was brand new that day so i picked up this cinnamon roll hoodie i've got a couple of these listen flavor hoodies already they're really thin but I really do like them because they just chuck them on, like they go with pretty much everything. On Instagram I noticed that they posted this dress and I knew it was new and I was just like yes I am getting that. They only had the sample in the shop so they kindly let me try it on. It would be open to buy for everyone at the end of my trip so on the last day I made sure I took a little trip to some flavour, got some more money out, <laughs> and bought this dress. I believe it says dreaming. Dreaming. Oh, tag. It's super cute and I'm, I'm so glad I have this. And I'm probably one of the only people in the UK that have this right this second when I film this. When I edit this, probably not the case unfortunately. <laughs> I'm sorry guys for taking so long. Work is hard and it's hard being a YouTuber when you work full time. I'm still half in my work clothes. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> oh so next is 6% Doki Doki which uh, I finally got my dream skirt. Oh my god. It's it was very, very expensive for, I guess what it is, but obviously it's brand. But I've been looking for this for, god, ages, like a good couple of years. Not found one in my kind of price range as such. But I thought, oh, I, I may as well just buy it from the 6% store. It worked out a tiny bit cheaper if I was to buy it through, say, Tokyo Taco Mode. But not, not massively, but... It's beautiful. It is, it is quite tight. Sorry, that It does stretch, but it's still quite tough. I guess in the wash it will eventually come a little bit looser. But if I know a lot of people are curious about this skirt. So I'll show you in a bit more in depth. So it's got the waistband, obviously. And then it's got one layer to loo. And it's got silk behind it. And they are stuck together. A lot of the times it would be separate with the skirt but yeah that that's good because you know it's probably gonna cover your bum <laughs> and then it's got just it's pink underneath and then it's got the layers of glue on top so it's only I guess like two to slash three layers but it's beautiful I, I love actually how it doesn't stick out too much so I find as if it probably goes with more stuff but yes I will be wearing this quite a lot. And then accessories. So this actually comes with that skirt. That's another thing with buying online. A lot of them don't come with this badge. Well, it's a, it's a two-way clip, so you can wear it as a badge or a hair clip. But this is the latest version of it. I know there's, there's a few different versions of it, but it's pretty. Next, I guess if you see me on Instagram at all, you've probably seen me wear this garter. I saw it for sale on a second hand site like a few months back. 
not to mention the amount of street snaps on Tokyo fashion I've seen people wearing this and I've always kind of wanted it. I didn't actually know it was 6% until I found it second hand but I, I thought I'd wait and I'm glad I did. It's so pretty. Then I got this ring. I've already got the pink one and I was keeping an eye out for this one because I've got to have everything pink and purple obviously <laughs> and then I got this necklace which I kind of knew beforehand that this was a little bit hard to find and the last day we went luckily they had it and it does in fact match the ring which is a pearl necklace little hearts on the back not like you meant to see them <laughs> And then, of course, I stocked up of more of the infamous hair clips that literally everyone wants. Oh, well, I forgot to show you the little things from Listen Flavor, so it's only a couple of things. They um, give out these um, postcards, well, leaflet postcard things when you spend a certain amount, I believe. I have this and a cinnamon roll one, which I'm not quite sure where it is at this moment of time. And then I got some fancy surprise stockings. One is pink, one is blue. And they're so beautiful. And then I got some badges. I got fresh punch badge. Again, brand new. This is focusing. Oh, it's really sunny today, which is lovely. And you are behind my window, so you're getting a bit of glare, unfortunately, on these. Fancy surprise badge. And then big old Little Twin Stars Club badge, which is beautiful. Please excuse my nails. They aren't the prettiest right now, or my hands in general. Next is an old perch. And I have wanted one of these dresses for so long, but I've, I've tried my best not to buy one leading up to it, just so I could purchase one in store. And it's, it's so adorable. It has tiny little bunnies on it. It's just so cute. And I love the trim of it. It's all iridescent and on the top as well. Just plain on the back. Doesn't really need to be that fancy on the back, does it? And then the shop girl just kind of just dumped this in my hands because it went with that. But I mean, I don't mind too much. Like, probably not something I would have purchased normally. But I, I was kind of on one that day. It was the 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 first full day shopping and. I just kind of wanted everything, <laughs> obviously, and I spent far too much money. And it is it's super adorable, this is. It goes perfectly with that, and I, I have worn it with that as well already. And on the cuffs, a little bit frilly. But yeah, I can see this going with a lot. Next up is Bang, and I got quite a lot of jewellery. Unfortunately, they didn't have much of their original printer stuff because that's what I really wanted. I guess most of the stuff I want has probably not been sold for a few years, unfortunately. But you, you can never really tell when you've just seen it online. But I got this Mahusuf top. Although I kind of like it, I, I did wear it with some jeans um, when I went back to Nakano Broadway to go to Spank again for the second time <laughs> and it looked really cute with some high-waisted jeans tucked in but yeah it's a really cute print I, I don't know what else it will go with I just like comfy comfy things and despite it being in this and flavor bag there's just yeah loads of things in here first of all tights I have wanted these for so long I absolutely love spank tights they are adorable but they always seem to be so hard to get hold of. I do have another pair that I managed to get on eBay, but or oh, but I finally have these beautiful things. 
and for tights I mean they are expensive of course but they they're pretty sturdy like they're not super super thick but I I don't want to say I don't want to jinx it but I, I feel as if they're quite sturdy and quite tough like it's it's not so easy to snag and your nail in it which I do a lot because um, in Japan I got a Suka card if you're gonna be in Tokyo quite a lot it might be good for the, just the rest of Japan I'm not honestly not quite sure but I would highly recommend getting a Suka card we got a little penguin on it and my full name which I don't know if you saw it doesn't really matter but um, yeah, I got this adorable pouch for it, spank, use clothing, and basically that is, it's like an oyster card in London or whatever. I don't actually own one because they're expensive just deposit wise, just to buy it outright. This was 500 yen, like why can't it be like this in England? But yeah, you can, you just tap it whenever you need the train and also you can use it at some convenience stores some random shops as well and most of all vendor machines that is so convenient when you're like oh you've got like your bags you've got your shopping bags like and then you just want a drink you don't have to look you don't have to rummage for change you just boop down i got these badges as well it's like a, a little clock, pastel clock. And God forbid I bought something dark. Well done, Rachel, for doing something different. But yeah, spank, close use. And it's um it says Nakano Broadway fourth floor, I believe. I can't really read it from here in the camera. Um yeah, they're on the if you ever go to Tokyo go to Nakano Broadway and Spank is on the fourth floor unless they've changed it hopefully not double check on their Facebook their opening times aren't that great it's like one o'clock to like three or something I don't know but they normally update on Instagram actually when they actually are open and then I got the I love Spank badge I also got these two badges that are handmade with resin this, I was cheeky with this one. I saw the shop girl um, taking a picture for Instagram of some jewellery on the counter and as I was paying I was just like eyeing it up, of course, being nosy. And then I was just like, I need this. Can I have this please? And yeah, I, I, I got it. And it says, sweet dreams. And it's so adorable, little cloud. And then I also got this iridescent brooch, which is beautiful. I really want to have a go at making similar stuff to this in my shop when I eventually get that sorted. I also got this adorable envelope ring, which is glittery white resin with a little pink heart. And then I got two necklaces. This one I saw online and I wanted it, but I, I, I wasn't sure what the deal was with Spank Jewelry because I know, oh, what's tangled? I know obviously they're one off pieces and luckily it was still there. It was the last one of this kind and I'm so glad I own it. I think it's probably become one of my favourite necklaces. It's this adorable little outlines of stars for some reason i love outlines of things like hollow thing you know, that is it for my branded stuff that is brand new in the next video i'm going to show you a bunch of thrifted harajuku fashion items i have found in various places so if you're interested in that then make sure you subscribe and i will be uploading that one soon thank you for watching guys see you